One is certainly the macroeconomic climate around the world. I mean, Hewlett Packard is um, a global company that happens to be based in the United States. And um, for us, uh, it is about the health of the world economy. So I think certainly any business would be remiss in saying that isn't a challenge at some point uh, relative to doing business. And I, and I think the second piece is for marketers in particular, um, that it's about this balance of brand and the importance of brand and brand value and the valuation of your company's brand with transactional marketing. Many people are about transaction, quickly get them to commerce, get them to convert. Uh, get them to move products and or consume services. And I think it becomes important that marketers don't forget the latter, brand, and, and brand marketing being important, uh, as important as the commerce transaction. Uh, because I don't think marketers want to wind up in a position where their products and services are commoditized to where they've lost value and margin uh, in what they can command uh, as, as, a, as a price for their products and services from consumers and businesses. So I do think it's important that uh, you, you have this sort of dual approach and that you don't allow yourselves to get too transactional to where you've forgotten uh, the importance of a brand. You know, HP has a very, very strong brand around the world. Uh, it's a brand that's known for quality and value and service. Uh, we're also known for trust. Um, and, and many of our businesses and our consumers trust us in the types of products and services we're selling them. And so, so for us, it really isn't about battling back uh, as much as it is understanding uh, the current economic situation around the world and how do we um, capitalize or be proactive about the, the situation that currently exists. And what I mean by that is it certainly becomes advantageous for us in this market where we have a very healthy company in HP uh, to go take share from our competitors. We believe this is a time to invest and reinvest in the future of HP. And this is not a time to retract and or cut. And so um, we're very aggressively pursuing um, uh, market share. Uh, we're pursuing growth. Um, and, and we believe this marketplace allows us to do that in an effective way. Well, I think some of the most exciting things that are going to happen in computing uh, today are, are going to be um, the next gen of computing, which is cloud computing, which is really everything as a service. So anything that you procure as a service as an individual and or a company will be done through the cloud. And what I mean by that is through a data center that's remote somewhere. And so as you begin to think about today, devices being, um, <coughs> you know, information and software being device centric, it will become device agnostic and it will be smart intuitive technology that does exist in this cloud or this remote data center that, that certainly serves you intelligent information when and how you want it. And so as you think about that piece combined with everything as a service, so all the services you procure will exist in some software form uh, and will be procured through the long tail through cloud computing, things become very exciting, the possibilities become exciting. And it does allow you to become a market of one. Uh, versus mass customization or mass market. I spoke about today MagCloud, which is a service that allows anyone to be a publisher. Um, and you go on magcloud.com, and it allows you to publish any magazine uh, very efficiently, cost-effective, environmentally sustainable because it is on demand. And you can now produce a magazine for a thousand or for one. And it lets you take advantage of niche interests across the long tail of the internet globally. And, and all of those then are aggregated on a site and allows you to look at other people's magazines and purchase them if you'd like. And they're sent directly to your home. It also changes up the distribution model in publishing because anywhere where there's a digital press, you can print the magazine, you know, commercial digital press. The HP believes in this space. We're, we're an advocate. We are passionate about it. We've seen great success. We've migrated much of, much of our dollars. I would say about approximately 40% of our total ad spend is being spent in the digital ecosystem. When I say that, that's, that's not only online, but that's advanced TV as well as mobile. So it's, we look at the full digital ecosystem uh, as an integrated model for us uh, to engage customers um, and consumers. So um, for us, um, uh, we, we believe in this space uh, and continue to be an advocate and have had great success.